Unlocking the beauty of language. Dawn's early glow. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the richness of the English language. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning and use of a poetic phrase, Dawn's early glow. This phrase is not just about the time of day. It's a beautiful expression that paints a picture with words. Let's dive into its meaning, usage, and the emotions it evokes. The phrase, Dawn's early glow, refers to the very first light of the day, just before the sun rises. Imagine the sky slowly changing its colors, from dark to a soft, gentle light. That's what this phrase is all about. It's often used in literature and poetry to describe not just a time of day, but also a feeling of new beginnings, hope, and possibility. Dawn's early glow is rich in symbolism. Dawn, the start of a new day, often represents new beginnings, hope, and renewal. The glow signifies the first light, the very start of these new beginnings. It's a moment of quiet, of calm, and of potential. In literature, this phrase can set the mood, create imagery, and evoke a sense of calmness and anticipation. While Dawn's early glow is a poetic expression, you can use it in everyday language to describe a beautiful morning or a moment of new beginning. For example, you might say, I woke up to the dawn's early glow and felt a sense of peace. This phrase adds a layer of beauty and emotion to your speech or writing. Many poets and writers have used dawn's early glow to set scenes and convey emotions. For instance, in poetry, you might find lines like, in the dawn's early glow, we found our new hope. These examples show how the phrase can be integrated into creative writing to enhance the imagery and emotional depth. Dawn's early glow is more than a phrase. It's a beautiful expression that captures the essence of the early morning light and the feelings it can evoke. We hope this video helps you appreciate the depth and beauty of the English language. Thank you for joining us today and we hope you feel inspired to use this lovely phrase in your own language journey.